<laughs> well, hey guys, Joe here from Beard for Thought. Well, I want to show you, and no, I'm just kidding, I'm not going to do that. All right, so I want to show you guys real quick. I've gotten a lot of questions recently, and I'm not really sure why, because I think I did a video on this before, but there's my chicken right there, and people were wondering how I prepare it these days. I uh, really haven't changed much, but I'll kind of show you what I've done. Um, so obviously there's the chicken cut up. It's seasoned, as you can tell, and the seasoning I'm using is poultry seasoning. It's salt free, and I believe there's no sodium. Yeah, no sodium. So Boomtown right there. Poultry seasoning is what I go for, and if I don't have that, then I usually use like Mrs. Dash. You know, I used to date a girl named Mrs. Dash. It's kind of ironic, her cooking tastes like shit. Um, okay, so pretty much back to the chicken. I open the package, obviously. Let's, let's start from step one, shall we? Uh, open the package, rinse off the chicken, and I also cut off a little bit of the fat. I'm not like scared of saturated fats. I know satura saturated fats are good for you when you're on a bulk um, in moderation. So I don't cut all of it out, but just like the huge chunks, like I really don't like the taste of it. So I kind of just cut out a little bit of it, uh, but there's still some in there. Then to make the cooking easier and faster, I cut up all the chicken um, in these just like little pieces instead of like putting the whole uh, breast on there like I used to do back in the day. And uh, now I have a uh, Foreman grill right there, but it's not quite big enough and obviously I like to cook in bulk. So right now I'm still just using the pans with this fat free spray, olive oil. And uh, yeah, so I want to kind of switch over to completely uh, grilling, but I need to get a bigger one or I need to get a few extra because the amount I like to cook in, it would just take a lot longer if I was going to cook it all or I was going to cook a little bit at a time and then put more on, put more on. So um, got to fit this all in, you know, in time because I got other shit going on, obviously. So all I'm going to do is just pretty much evenly spread these on the pan. And usually it takes about probably seven to ten minutes to cook. And I kind of try to cook it a little slower. I know I probably could cook it faster than that. And obviously there's ways where I could cook it way slower too. Uh, usually the slower you cook it the better. But, you know, like I keep saying, kind of on a time schedule here. So i got to get it done. But that's basically all I do. That's uh, pretty simple. And I used to actually weigh it all in eight ounce increments. Oh, and I got a question from someone, I can't really remember who it was, but they asked um, when you're weighing the chicken or, or how, how it says it on the back when you buy the chicken, like the, uh, the macronutrients and things like that. Um, they were wondering if it means raw or cooked, and it does mean raw, and a lot of times they're in four ounce increments. So I would usually actually measure out eight ounces beforehand. This is when I was like super hardcore and cutting and whatnot. Um, and then I would cook it eight ounces at a time. That's a way slow way to do it. And I definitely prefer this method better. But at the same time, once it's cooked, um, they have some websites you can go to to find out about like how much protein would be in, like an amount of cooked chicken and fat and all that. But it can't really be exact because there's different ways of cooking it and it never really turns out exactly the same. And I know this because I used to weigh it a lot my eight ounce increments to see if it always come up usually about the same and sometimes it would fluctuate quite a bit so that's about it I'm about to cook me some chicken uh, got about an hour before I go to bed so I'm gonna probably eat me some of this and uh, that's gonna be it so for those of you guys who wanted to know that's how I do it chicken for thought see you guys next time peace